How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you guys the 89 overall Roy Oswalt debut. I went ahead and selected this pitcher as my extra special edition diamond. Throughout the uh, XP reward path I'm a level 65 bronze right now. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this gameplay. I'm making a push towards World Series. My current rating is at about 866 I believe. And I had previously gotten pretty close to World Series. I was around 888 and then I lost a couple games. A couple close games, a couple extra inning games, but to start this one off, this opponent had a good team, and Steve Finley's going to send one off the top of the wall. This ever since I picked up the Steve Finley card, he's been an amazing leadoff hitter for me. I talked a little bit about that in my previous video, and I also made a debut with him recently. And later on in the inning, with two outs, Cody Bellinger, who has also been an amazing pickup, Cody Bellinger sends out a two-run homer, so that puts me up two nothing early on in the game, which is which is nice. I noticed that. This, this particular opponent was struggling with uh, the 12-6 curveball from Roy Oswalt, and I didn't want to overuse it because you really can't in this year's game. You can't really spam the same pitch over and over again, but I did want to use it as much as possible and mix up with the sinker, slider, and change up along with the fastball. I mean, Roy Oswalt really has five usable pitches, and if I was able to work off of that 12-6, that's 71, 72 miles an hour, then I will be in business for this game. But there with uh, Jonathan Scope, I sent one out. It was foul, and I wasn't able to take advantage of a leadoff base hit in that inning. I, I didn't capitalize, so let's go ahead and get back to Roy Oswald on the mound. Hits one hard to Josh Donaldson. He makes the play there and now brings up Walker Buehler. I'm trying to get the confidence up, maxed out with the 12-6 curveball, and that's exactly what happens. I threw it right on the corner on accident. I mean, that wasn't even where I was trying to throw it, but it happened that way. And then later on in the game, Steve Finley is going to send one out of here. That's going to be a no doubter. That was a curveball that was just low in the zone. Facing Walker Bueller when he was up on inside edge is he's definitely good, but I did notice that the PCI was still pretty uh, pretty good size here, as Pablo Sanchez is ripping one to right field. I've also taken a couple a couple run lead. We're up by three runs, so that affects the pitcher's confidence, which will also affect the size of your PCI. And then later on, Cody Bellinger in the inning, I hit into a double play with Giancarlo Stanton, and then Cody Bellinger sent another one out. That's going to be another home run for nothing and Cody Bellinger has driven in three of the runs so far and Steve Finley with the other one just been an amazing card both of those guys the lefties have really done some damage so far for me and uh, I also picked up Matt Carpenter as a budget third baseman budget second baseman but I, I mean he was okay but at the same time I figured I could go and get a couple better guys with better speed and everything I'm looking to probably sell the World Series reward if I'm able to get him I'll probably pick Don Mattingly just because I think he'll end up going for the most. But there Joey Votto sends one the opposite field. That's going to be a first base hit. But I'm still at least I'm still at least two or three games away from uh, even attempting to make World Series or playing the game for World Series, if that makes sense. So I have to play like this one like it. I mean, like the, it is the game for World Series. All these games in the CS, once you get past at least like 850, you really want to try and get on a win streak and make go ahead and make World Series right then and there. If you're playing... If you're playing well in one particular night, I would recommend that. Uh, the other time when I did lose a couple games, I wasn't particularly playing all that great. In this one, I noticed that I was playing a little bit better, so who knows? I might go ahead and play another game. I might play um, and try and make World Series, depending on how I, how this game finishes off. But we are up four to one, and Trevor Story is going to send one deep to left field. I thought that one was gone for sure, and I was trying to do a hit and run on that same pitch with Cody Bellinger on first base. But his left fielder, I think it was uh, David Peralta, tracked it down. And there Steve Finley is going to send another one out to deep center field. That's going to be off the wall. And I realize now that I knew I was going to end up picking up that Steve Finley. But I the reason why I didn't choose him as my special edition diamond was because I wanted to try that Ricky Henderson out. If it wasn't for Ricky Henderson and some of the new cards in the game, like uh, Kerry Wood and, and I mean that Chipper Jones looked pretty intriguing. I wanted to try out a couple other guys before I went ahead and picked up that Steve Finley if that makes sense. And I'm definitely going to keep him. He's going to be on my team whether he's on the bench, whether he's uh, I mean in the outfield in the secondary position, whatever the case is, he's going to be out there. But we move up to 882 as that opponent quit. Now we're going up against another guy and this game could be for World Series. This guy does have a pretty good team. He has Mookie Betts and then a pretty budget team around Mookie Betts. But at the same time, I don't really know what his uh, division is at this point. And if, for example, if he is in the World Series, then I, this game could possibly be for my World Series. Because if he had, it was in the 900 rating, I would probably get more than 18 points if I was able to win this game. But uh, two outs in the first inning. Giancarlo Stanton sends one off the center field batter's eye out there. We're playing at the Oakland Athletic Stadium. 
So I was really looking for the difference in pitch speeds from Ship It Field, which I previously played this the, the other game, and then now on playing at a major league stadium, I really noticed a little bit of a just difference in pitch speeds, but at the same time, I was trying to adjust to it right away just because of how important this game is. There, I was able to steal second base with Cody Bellinger with two outs, so that's going to be big. He's going to go with the changeup low and in, and I turned on it with Trevor Story. He sends it out to the left center field gap, and Ioannis Cespedes is unable to make that play. I thought that one might have had the chance to go out, but it does hit off the base of the wall there, and it's going to be extra bases. We go up uh, two to nothing, and now once again with an early lead, I'm looking to attack the zone. I threw a cutter 0-2, way too much of the plate. It, it was right over the middle, and Trey, uh, Trey Turner hit it to left field. I was lucky that he wasn't sending that ball out. But now we're facing Anthony Rendon, and this card's pretty good. But he does chase the slider there and get the strikeout. We have Willie Mays up at the plate. I squared that one up. If that was the signature series, Willie Mays, that ball is going to be probably a home run. But that one was a line out to center field. 59 contact, 59 power, and uh, Mookie Betts is going to fly out to right field. Kind of a quick game with this one so far. I mean, early in the game, I got a couple runs, and then I was able to shut the opponent down pretty well. And I've pitched extremely well at this Walker Bueller as I give up a home run with against Johannes Cespedes. But I, I think I'm like 10 and 1 with this Walker Bueller, and he's playing up on inside edge at an 87 overall. So definitely nice to have. This opponent was trying to steal with Matt Chapman, and I'm, I don't know necessarily know why. Maybe he's trying to do a hit and run there. But I was able to get him in a pickle and tag him for an out. And now he has Buster Posey up at the plate and a 2-2 count. I'm throwing a curveball. This opponent was struggling a little bit with the 12-6 curveball on the slider away. I noticed that, so I wanted to try and take advantage of that. I went to I went ahead and brought in Goose Gossage in the bottom of the third inning in this one just because I didn't want to mess around here. This guy had a 97 speed on Trey Turner on third base. I mean, he was stealing all over the place. I wasn't really able to locate with Walker Buehler, even though... I uh, was really successful with him. I went ahead and went right to Goose and I got out of the jam. That was a pretty good decision and I was able to pitch multiple innings with Goose as we're already in the top of the fifth inning. I flew out to uh, Lorenzo Kane in center field there with Steve Finley. I thought I got that one, just barely missed it. And I still have Goose in the game with the throw of the slurve there. He's in, he does have the yellow stamina, but he also has the gold bar of confidence. This opponent is trying to steal. That was a hanging slurve. Once again with Matt Chapman, I don't know why. I figured I would try and throw him here and throw cancel. This is why throw canceling is big because you can kind of fake out the opponent, get him to run right into an out, right towards you. And in this year's game, if you do have the throw ready to go, the, the opponent won't be able to kind of run back and forth with the bases. You'll be able to throw him out just about every time. And I'm surprised he didn't slip on that one. But there, John Carlos Stan hit a double. I wasn't able to capitalize on that leadoff double but that was a pretty nice hit from Stan. He's been probably my best live series player other than you know Steve Finley and my created player. He's John Carlos Stan's been probably my best hitter overall because I've had him for the majority of the season. I I picked him up after I tried out a couple different infielders and I really want to try and get Manny Machado or uh, JD Martinez, some of those guys. But later on in this game the opponent left in Roberto Osuna for too long. I pinch hit for Kyle Schwarber. And he was on first base there as Steve Finley sends one off the left field wall. Kyle Schwarber comes around to score. And I don't know why he was continuing to leave Roberto Osuna in. It was his 38th pitch. That was his 39th. And I power swung on that one. That one sent off the wall there with, with Pablo Sanchez using Aldoberto Mondesi swing. I was, use, I was looking for a pitch up in the zone. And I was sitting right on it. The very next batter, Stanton, sends one deep to left field. I thought that was gone right off the bat. I was a little bit early, but I did pull the outside pitch as well. So maybe that's why I wasn't sent out. But nonetheless, he didn't have really any energy. So I thought off contact, it was gone. But this opponent wasn't giving up. He hit a double into the gap with Mookie Betts. It was a pretty close play in center field with Willie Mays. But nonetheless, 4-1 to one game. And I went with the fastball inside. I'm looking to just try and uh, minimize here. If he scores that one run, it's all right. If I, But I'm trying to at least keep a two-run lead. There, I got the strikeout. That was John Axford. And now we have Fernando Rodney in bottom of the ninth with two outs. And I got the fly ball there with Mookie Betts. This opponent had a chance to kind of come back in this one. He did have some base runners every almost every inning. But we do get the dub. John Carlos Stanton is the player of the game. And now I'm looking to see if I made World Series. I don't know if that opponent was in the CS or he might have been in like 850 rating. And that might be enough points. I'm not really sure how the rating system works this year. It was a 762 and we get 13. So we're... 
left at 895 i will uh i will play for the, the game for world series and have another video uploaded so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new i'm college lefty and peace out